Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and I love doing DIY, making clothes in a seemly but free way. In today's video, I'm going to share with you the third episode of my dating wardrobe series. It's the lunch day outfit. For this day, I chose a sleeveless Mumet mini dress. This is a pretty but also a little sexy dress but in an active way. This dress has a gather fabric look at the front with a drawstring shoulder strap and add an invisible zipper at the back to make it fit to my body to create a sexy vibe for the dress. So I hope you will like it and try it out. And let's start making this dress! The first step is making the pattern for the dress. To make the buster pattern, I draw a rectangle with 18cm length, which is the length from a bow to below my breast and 30 cm width, which is one and a half times a quarter of my bust side. From one edge of the rectangle, I mark on the width line 8 cm, which is the width from the underarm bit to the middle of the breast. It's the position of the shoulder strap of the dress. After that, I mark on the length line 8 cm, which is the length from a bow to the middle of the breast then connect two marks together. Based on this line, I make a slightly curved line to finish the sleeve line at the front dress. From the other edge of the rectangle, I mark down 8 cm on the length line, which is the length from the above to the middle of the breast. Then connect this mark to the marks on the width line I made before to create the neckline for the dress. From the end of the length line, I mark on the width line 27 cm which is one and a half times a quarter of my underbust side. Then connect this mark to the one on the length line, which is the end of the sleeve line, to create the side line of the buster button. From the end of the length line, I mark up 5 cm, which is the height of the buster line that I want. Then connect this mark to the end of the side line, to create the underbust line of the buster pattern. After that, I redraw the line between the neckline and the underbust line to make its perpendicular look with the neckline and also make the underbust line a bit curved as well. As the neck of the dress will have a drawstring look, so I increase 1.5cm for the neckline to create a fabric hole there when sewing. Add in 1cm for seam allowance after that and we will have the bust the pattern of the front dress after cutting. Moving to the front pattern, I draw a straight line that cut the horizontal line which is also the edge line of the paper. I mark at 17.5 on the straight line. It's the quarter of my underbust side. From this line, I mark out 5 cm on the horizontal line which is the height of the buster part. Then connect this mark to the one I made on the straight line before to create the underbust line of the front pattern. From the first straight line, I make another one 15 cm away from it. It's the length from the underbust to my belly button. The width of this straight line is 19 cm, which is a quarter of my waist side plus 3 cm of the dark that I want to make there later. Then connect the end of the underbust line to the end of the waistline to create a side line for the front dress. From the second straight line, I keep making another one 20 cm away from it. It's the length from my belly button to the biggest part of my butt. The width of this line will be 24 cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 1 cm. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the second straight line to continue the side line of the dress. From the third straight line, I make another one 20 cm away from it. It's the length from the biggest part of my butt to above my knee. It's also the length of the dress that I want. The width of this new line is 28 cm, which is a quarter of my hip side plus 5 cm. Then connect the end of this line to the end of the hip line to finish the side line of the dress. After that, I redraw this side line a bit to create a smooth connecting from the top to the end of the side line. On the waistline, I mark in the middle foot, then drawing a horizontal line through this mark in parallel with the edge line of the paper. It's the dead line of the front dress. From the cutting point with the hip line, I mark up 2cm on the horizontal line. 
is the end of the dart I will make later. From the middle of the waistline, I mark one and a half centimeter to side of it. So the width between two marks will be three centimeter, which is the width of the dart that I want. Then connect two marks to two end of the dart line. At the end of the side line, I mark up one centimeter foot. Then connect this mark to the other end of the ending line. Based on this new line, I draw a slightly curved line to finish the ending line of the dress. Add in 1 cm for seam allowance, except 3 cm at the ending line, and we will have the front pattern of the dress after cutting. To make the back pattern, I draw a horizontal line at 1 cm above the edge line of the paper. It's for seam allowance at the middle of the back of the dress. Then I apply the front pattern to this line and copy it. I also copy the under bust line too. I yield the bust the pattern to copy the style line to the back pattern. After that, I make a straight line from the top of the side line to the edge line of the paper to finish the top line of the back pattern. And we will have the back pattern after cutting. To make the dash for the back pattern, I copy the waistline and the hip line from the front pattern first. Then I draw the dark line by using the same way I did at the front. However, the end of the dark line will be 14 cm from the waistline. Now let's make this dress. I start with the front part of the dress foot. After cutting two pieces of the bust pattern, I fold the middle chest line inside two times with around a half centimeter each time and so to finish it. After that, I make a loose seam at the under bust line to create the gathering fabric there later. The final width of the gathering fabric will be the same with the under bust line at the front part of the dress, so you can connect them together later. Cut the front part in full fabric and copy the dart from the pattern to the fabric as well. I make two darts of the front dress based on the drawing line after that. Then connect the front part to the bust part at the under bust line. And we will finish the front part of the dress after sewing. Moving to the back part of the dress. I make the dart by using the similar way I did at the front. After that, I connect two pieces of the back together with the invisible zipper. Using the zipper foot will help your sewing easier. After that, I finish the back part by sewing two pieces under the zipper together. Okay. 
Now I'm connecting the front and the back of the dress together at two sides. To make the shoulder strap for the dress, I cut a long fabric with 3.5cm width and around 60cm length. I fold two length lines to the middle first, then keep folding them again and sewing to finish the shoulder tie. You will need to make two ties for this dress. I cut another long fabric with 2.5cm width and around 40cm length to connect to the top of the dress from the side line to the top back line. Before sewing them together, I mark in the middle of the top line at the back part which is the position for the shoulder strap. Then I put the strap there between the dress and the long fabric and sew them on together. After the first seam, I fold the other side of the long fabric inside to the end of the fabric foot then keep folding it again to hide on the seam inside and sew to finish it. At the neckline of the buster, I draw a line 3.5cm under it. Then I fold the end fabric inside that line after that and sew to create the fabric hole there. To finish the end of the dress, I draw a line 6 cm above the ending line. Then I fold the end fabric to this line and sew them together to finish the end of the dress. The last step is putting the strap to the fabric holes at the buster part to make in the middle of the chest. And I finished this DIY. Here's my final result. This is a cute but a big sexy dress. The mini land gave it a little activify as well. That's why it's perfect for a lunch day. I hope you will try it out and see you next week.